Today we reached 400 subscribers and I'd just like to say thank you, it means a lot and helps support me. And in today's video we're going to be going over how to make the hexagon game from Fall Guys in Unreal Engine. So first we're going to create our hexagon actor, I'll leave a link in the description to the hexagon mod I'm using. So we create a blueprint class and create an actor and I'll just call this hexagon actor. And this will be the hexagon that we can step on and then it will disappear. So we go inside it and go to add component and look for static mesh. And in the static mesh, we're just going to look for the hexagon model and we'll just select it. And then we are going to add another component and this will be the box collision. And we can just adjust this so that it's more aligned. And we'll make it when the player overlaps this, it'll make the hexagon go white and then disappear. So I'm just going to adjust mine. And that's about fine. So if we scroll down and click on component and overlap, we can make it start to do stuff. So first I'm going to cast my third person character because we want it to be a third person character to trigger this event. And once we've done this, I'm going to look for do once because I only want it to do this amount once. So after this, I'm going to add local offset. And this will just make the actor move down once we step on it. So I'm just going to, in the Z value, put minus five and the actor will move down in the Z axis minus five when we step on it. Then after this, I'm going to have a short delay of 0.2 seconds and then after this delay I'm going to get the static mesh and then we're going to set its material and I'm going to set its material to white so that the player will know that he's stepped on it so I'm going to select my white material which I created and plug this in and now it'll go white when our player steps on it and then after this I'm going to add one more delay and I'll make this 0.3 seconds so we have 0.5 seconds in total and then after this I'm going to destroy the actor after these three seconds, so we won't have long once we step on it. So I'm just going to drag this in. And if we drag this in, I'll move this foot up, if I kick play, if I now jump on this hexagon actor, it will turn white and then disappear. So now we need to set up so it's like there are loads of them and there's grid. So I'll create another blueprint class and create an actor, and I'll just call this hexagon spawn one. And I double click inside this. So the first thing we want to do is add component and I'm going to look for scene and just select it then I'm going to go to my event graph and event begin play so as soon as this starts I'm going to drag a for loop and just select it and in the last index I'm going to make this 10 so it's going to do this event 10 times and I'll just drag in the scene and get its world location as we'll need to reference that and from the index number I'm going to multiply this by a float and it's going to be 160, so everything's 160 units away from each other. And we're going to add vector plus vector. And we'll split the structure and just plug this into the Y so it spawns along the Y axis. And in variables, I'm going to create a new one and call it location. I'm just going to make this a vector. And I'll just compile. Then I can drag this location up and set the location and just plug this in. And this is going to be the location where the hexagon spawns from, so I'll just plug this in. And then we're going to right click and look for spawn actor from cast. And then we will split the structure of the transform and just plug this in. And the actor is going to be the hexagon that we just created. So hexagon actor. And we can just plug this in. Now I'll click compile and play. If we just drag this in, we can see it will spawn 10 hexagons on the y axis, 160 units apart from each other. So now we're just going to duplicate this and I'm going to rename this hexagon spawn 2 and if we go inside here I'm going to plus float and I'm going to make this value 90 and you'll see why in a minute. So we just plug this in and compile. If I drag hexagon and then hexagon spawn 2 the 90 will mean that it's just offset a bit because when we spawn both of these we want it so it's offset so that it looks all nice in a hexagon shape. So now we're going to make the final hexagon which will spawn both our hexes spawn 1 and hex and spawn 2. I'm just going to duplicate this and call this final hexagon spawn and I'm just going to delete everything so when we spawn the final one it's a bit clean. And if we go inside here what I'm going to do first 
I'm just gonna make it 150 because when we spawn again the X and I found this value works a bit better. I'll delete the 90 and plug this into the X. So it'll spawn forward. And then we just move over here. I'm going to delete the hexagon actor. So I'll just delete this and then I'm gonna do a flip-flop. So then I'm gonna spawn actor from class. And this is going to be our hexy spawn that we made earlier. And I'll just split the structure. And it's just going to be the location that we've been using all this time. So I'll get location and plug this in. And then A. And then I'll just copy this. So I'll do A and then I'll do B. So I'm going to select hexy spawn 2. Uh, I realize I've done the first one wrong. So I'll just make that hexy spawn 1. So now I'll spawn our hexagon spawn 1 and hexagon spawn 2. And I'll do this 10 times. So if we just strike this in and click play, it will now spawn our hexagons and we can jump on them and move. And that's how to create the hexy spawn from Fall Guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.